New York City is full of icons. The skyline, for one. Buildings, monuments, taxis, and turn of phrases like, forget about it. But some of these icons are not always so obvious. In fact, some of these icons you don't even realize are associated with New York City. In fact, I've been holding one in my hand this entire time. The Greek coffee cup. Besides the red Solo cup and Starbucks, this might be the most famous disposable cup in the world. You ever see Law and Order? The Sopranos? Mad Men? Goodfellas? Wolf of Wall Street? Then you have seen this cup. And if you haven't noticed it, well, you're not alone. But I'm sure you will now. In fact, these cups are so iconic that as far as New York City souvenirs are concerned, they're starting to compete with the I Heart NY logo, which can be seen here at Lockwood in Queens. So what's the deal with the Greek coffee cups? First, let's talk about Greek immigration to the United States. Greeks have been immigrating to the land that is now the U.S. long before this country ever existed. And since the beginning of the 20th century, there have been two major waves of Greek immigration. The first was in the 1920s, during a very violent and tragic conflict with Turkey known as the Greek Genocide. The second was in the 1940s, when many Greeks were fleeing their homeland, escaping World War II and the Greek Civil War. This second wave of Greek immigrants maintained a lot of their Greek-American identity, which is easily observable here in Astoria, Queens, home to this city's largest Greek population. And now for the Greek diner. Since the 1940s, two-thirds of the diners in New York City have been Greek-owned and run, and over 600 diners were opened by Greek immigrants from the 1950s to the 1970s. And though Greek immigration to this country has slowed since Greece's admission into the European Union in 1981, the Greek diner is still a staple here. Fast, consistent service, tasty, affordable food found in these epic-sized menus, and a comfortable atmosphere to make sure they all feel welcome. And now for the Greek coffee cup. Cut to 1963, when the marketing director for the Sherry Cup Company, Leslie Buck, comes up with a cup design that would appeal to the Greek immigrants that own the vast majority of diners here in the city. And thus the birth of the Greek coffee cup, which is actually called the Anthora, which is a play on the word amphora, which were ceramic containers used for transport of a number of products, usually wine, used by the ancient Greeks and are depicted on the side of the cup. The original said, we are happy to serve you. And you can still find the original, but now there are variations. On the top and bottom of the cup, we see a Greek key, or meander, which is a traditional Greek pattern or border. But meander certainly brings up the imagery of someone meandering through the forests of Arden, or maybe the streets of New York City. There's also a meander river in Turkey, which was once ancient Greece. It also invokes the image of the labyrinth from the ancient Greek myth of the Minotaur. Mostly blue and white, reflecting the colors of the flag of Greece. And then in gold writing, it says, it's our pleasure to serve you in this angular font reminiscent of ancient Greek. Now the E's are actually sigmas, which are pronounced s. And then either side are Greek columns of Ionic order. But the important takeaway here is, when you drink coffee from one of these cups, you have more than a cup of coffee in your hands. You have a New York City icon made possible by one of the many immigrant cultures that make up this great country. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click here for other episodes. See you real soon.